Ooh, Arnold, looks like someone had some fun last night. And something tells me your brain is probably just as much of a mess as this room. You really don't remember anything at all. Arnold, could it really be? Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend? Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm, now where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression. And you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you Tell calling an ambulance? Yeah. Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. Cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up with his kiss. Arnold, I told you it would help. Hey, I see the late night beer bash is a big success. But don't forget, in the morning, you got a conference of below 60 IQ YouTubers. And if you're late, your career is toast. There's no time for the toilet. You gotta hold it, buddy. The bladder comfortably holds 150 to 200 milliliters of fluid, but after 400 to 500 milliliters, you'll feel some pressure. You must have drunk a lot. Eee, looks like the boss is in a bad mood. And for sure, he ain't gonna let anyone take bathroom breaks. Fluid is absorbed into the kidneys, then descends through the ureter into the bladder. You're probably feeling a bit stressed, Arno, because now you got to hold the pee in with your muscles. I recommend you don't laugh, Arnold, or sneeze, or cough. Anything like that weakens the muscles, and you might start leaking. Hooray! Break time! You're saved! The average person goes tinkle six to eight times a day. Ooh, no luck there, Arnold. In ancient times, rules of decency allowed people to go wee-wee in public, and the division of toilets into men's and ladies only occurred in 1792. Okay, break's over, buddy. Now it's your turn to give your presentation. If you hold it in for a long time, the bladder walls can stretch, so you can hold even more PP. But this can be dangerous. Bacteria and acids in your urine can crawl back up into your kidneys, causing cystitis and pyelonephritis. It seems, Arnold, that everyone approves of your dissatisfaction with company policy. Come on, Arnold. I know you can hold it a little longer. Just 50 more talks and then you're free. Well, that's it. Time to go home. And Arnold, 
I advise you not to make any sudden movements. If your bladder is that full, it could pop. Yay, you're almost home. Now we just have to get through the morning rush hour. Move slowly. Oh no, it seems your neighbor's coming, Arnold. You know, the guy who likes to give everyone a big hug when they meet. You need immediate hospitalization. You're not gonna make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball. Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile. Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. After tasting the foods of Asia and Europe, he returned home to try something even more exotic. Get your ass down here and choose what you'll eat first. Come on, Arnold, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. One bite from a baby cobra can kill a three-ton elephant. There's almost no air in its stomach. But when diving, snakes can hold their breath for up to 10 hours. Gastric juices will digest it in one and a half to two hours, as if it was a chicken. Everything that remains will have to go through the anus. Oh, look, it's venom. If it doesn't contact with your blood, it can't harm you. What the hell? Though as soon as it gets into an ulcer or a cut, the venom's effects are instant. Paralysis, convulsions, and after 15 minutes, you're a goner. But only if you don't use an antidote. Okay, who let the frog in? One gram of Philobate's Terribilis venom can kill a whole city worth of people. Should a small animal step on the trail of this frog, the toxin will kill him instantly. Even if you get a small drop of the poison on your skin, boom, you're dead. The frog will pass out 30 seconds after getting into the stomach, and 10 minutes of painful death will be waiting for you. And an antidote for this poison doesn't exist, so you can stop looking. And if a scorpion's poison is added to the philobate's poison, its strength will increase by 12 times. Any last wishes? Do you want the viewers to subscribe and leave a like? I see. Ooh, I see you've decided to create a real tropical paradise for yourself. Don't you think the palm tree from the living room is a bit much? All right, here's some more food, drinks, and new friends. Rubber duckies. Have fun, Arnold. How about some beneficial bubbles? Hydromassage can mimic physical exercise such as squats, pull-ups, and push-ups. When vibrating, the muscle fibers contract, thereby increasing in volume. And in just 30 days, they'll reach their maximum strength and endurance level. You, Arnold, oh, lady. Easy one will definitely like it. Arnold, this is the first time I've seen you so happy. I suggest we continue the experiment. I'm going to lock you in the bath for 30 days, but on one condition. I'm turning off the water and leaving you just the food you have right now. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have eaten so much. If you don't get out of the bath for 30 days, apart from bacterial skin infections and your nails peeling, you'll have two options. Either complete dehydration and the loss of 1.3 gallons of water, or hyperhydration, when your body gets much more water than necessary and when 
which leads to swelling of the brain. Arnold, you're consuming food and water at an alarming rate. Surprisingly, due to your prolonged immersion in water, your skin will become dry and cracked, and it'll become really easy to get a skin infection in such dirty old water. Just one thing, Arnold, please, don't look at your hand. To spend 30 days in a bath sipping cocktails, your skin needs to be more like a seal's. After all, they have 20% more subcutaneous fat than humans, which provides excellent waterproofing and protection. But now, as a carrier of intestinal parasites dangerous for humans, you're unlikely to be welcome to such a party. Arnold, you really don't resemble a seal at all and are completely unsuited for aquatic life. But on the other hand, your bathroom is now a paradise for plants. Your palm tree has bloomed. Mushrooms are growing on the ceiling, and it seems that somehow wheat has sprouted from your toilet. You have nothing to eat or drink. No. Please, Arnold, don't tell me you're planning to drink that water. It's full of gunk and microbes in your hair. Yuck! <laughs> Did you sell your bath? Why? What? Is it all about the new PS5? You know, Arnie, one Dr. James Hamlin has shown it's possible not to wash for over five years. Let's do a <laughs> challenge. The surface of our skin is home to a huge number of bacteria that form what's called the microbiome. It's understood that if you avoid using soap over an extended period of time, your microbiome balance will naturally stabilize. However, if you don't wash for even three days, you'll start to itch. Don't worry. Go get some air. Clearly, after a few days without a shower, you've started to stink something awful. Okay, not such a bad idea to buy a bunch of deodorant. The global trend of using fragrances to mask the body's smell first appeared in medieval Europe. At that time, people bathed on average only two times in their entire life, at birth and at death. Yes, the evil odor is gone, but frequent use of deodorants can cause allergies and shortness of breath, and the aluminum salts they use can even lead to the growth of cancer cells. Even in our time in our modern world, there are still people who wash themselves very rarely. In addition to the homeless, there are the residents of the far north, the Eskimos and the Chukchi. Are you feeling like a pile of garbage, Arnold? Permanent non-washing can lead you to a loss of self-esteem, and the kids next door would paint your house with graffiti and tease you about your stankiness. Where are you going, Arnold? Oh, I really hope you don't do anything stupid. Arnold, there you are! You've decided to move in with the Chukchi. Congratulations! Moreover, the challenge is finished. And your microbiome has come back in balance. Your skin has become soft, fresh, and your acne has completely disappeared. But wait. What's that? It looks like today the Chukchi are celebrating a holiday with ritual bathing. First, they put on all the clothes they have and try to sweat as much as possible. Then they scrape each other's skin clean with bone scrapers. And after all that, they grease themselves up with seal fat. Arnold, you're now about to be bathed in the best traditions of the far north. And you certainly can't run very far. They'll find you by your smell. Arnie, wake up and get your ass out of bed. I've already packed your suitcase. Here's your plane ticket. Come on, hurry up, let's go. You're going for a nice little weekend at the spa. You'll take baths full of original Coca-Cola, created according to John Pemberton's recipe from way back in 1886. This pharmacy mixture made of coca extract absorbs quite well in the blood and can create euphoria in particular doses. And in certain doses, it can kill you. When bathing in this drink, your skin will absorb 
absorb a large amount of benzomethylagonine. Arnold's feeling quite happy and cheerful. At present, the quantity of this ingredient in your blood doesn't exceed 50 milligrams. A dose of 500 milligrams is already toxic, and 1.2 grams will be lethal. Although the euphoria lasts for 30 minutes, you, Arnie, will again and again want to get this feeling back. No, seriously, dude, that's enough for you. Without a new dose of this spa treatment, Arnold will become aggressive and irritable. This substance reduces the amount of dopamine in the brain, and without Without it, Arnold feels unhappy. Now, all of his energy is devoted to finding more Coca-Cola. Arnie, I like you better the way you were before. Once in the blood, the coca extract raises your body temperature, narrows your blood vessels, and raises your blood pressure. Half a year of such daily cola baths, Arnie, and you'll be burning up from within. Well, you lived a sweet but really short life. <laughs> Arnold will collect beans from trees up to 9 meters high. Great choice of work, Arnie. The collected beans are dried and roasted, after which they're ready for sale. Arnie, be careful with that fire. Uh-oh. Arnie, grab your things and run. You can stay with me for a while, but on one condition. You'll be my test subject in a new experiment. You'll drink all the coffee you've harvested in one sitting. Your stock is just enough to make 10 liters of espresso, or 200 cups. So suck it up, buttercup. People all over the world drink 500 billion cups a year, and nothing bad happens. Alas, this dose of caffeine all at once will kill you twice. But I love you, Arnie, so I'm giving you two extra lives. Hungry? Espresso has zero calories. You should be thankful that caffeine dulls your pangs of hunger. Arnie, did you hear about the Australian students who, after their fifth cup of espresso, thought they heard music in white noise? This experiment confirmed the psychoactive properties of caffeine. Arnie, can you hear me? Arnie! Really, it's impossible to drink 10 liters of espresso. The violent tremors in your hands and paranoia won't let you take a sip after 50th cup. But a contract is a contract. So here, take a caffeine pill. An overdose of caffeine provokes oh. cardiac arrest. In your case, double cardiac arrest. Congratulations! With three lives, you managed to survive the experiment. I think it's for you, Arnie. I warn you, if you don't want problems, you work for me. Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're going to have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids! First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although, I will know what caused it and why. Don't worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something else big. It seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What?
Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. But the worst thing is that even giving up testosterone completely won't get rid of the consequences. You'll become fat and mentally unstable. Yes, Arnold, in the end, the situation is even worse than when you started. I'm sure we can use this for today's topic. Let's see how much weight you can gain. Put simply, to gain extra pounds, you must constantly increase the number of calories you eat. With your weight and lazy lifestyle, it will be enough for you to eat six Snicker bars a day to start gaining excess weight. When you reach 300 kilograms, the Snickers allotment should be 14 bars a day. And when you reach 2,000 kilograms, you'll have to eat, 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 and eat again until you eat 17,000 calories of food a day. No one has ever reached such a mass. 2,000 kilograms would simply destroy your body. Fat would compress your organs and veins. You would begin to suffocate. Your strongest bones, which are four times stronger than concrete, would break if you tried to stand on your feet. At this weight, you can live for just a few seconds until the fat completely strangles you. So let's suck out a little bit. It seems you're going to need to borrow a bra from your mom. The more fat in a person's body, the more intensively female hormones are produced. Your breasts grow enlarged, your voice becomes thin, and your little friend no longer rises in the morning to salute the new day. Hmm, that's a twist. Looks like Lolita97 has a very jealous husband. Don't go leaning out and trying to lose weight. There's enough fat in your body to sit in a closet without food for three years. You just need to inject some vitamins and drink water. What's that? A contract? Have you already been cast in something? Take your time, Arnold, and read through that carefully before signing. I'm thinking you could make some money renting out that big empty space between your ears. What do you think, Arnold? That space inside your big red head is so empty, I think we could store my grampy's old motorcycle in there. Arnold, for this role, it looks like you're going to have to triple your weight. Actors, in order to get as close to a role as possible, often have to gain or lose weight in a very short period of time. Christian Bale, from 2008 to 2013, had to lose weight nine times and also had to gain as much as 30 kilograms. That's 66 pounds. To quickly make progress gaining weight, use a bigger plate. That way, big portions will look smaller. <gasps> Add in lots of snacks, Arnold, like dried fruits, nuts, and peanut butter sandwiches. And don't forget about desserts. Arnold, it looks like gaining weight is your secret talent. You're really good at this. Well, soon you'll be ready to play the lead role. You're gonna be a star. So that's why they needed an actor with such a tremendous weight? Too bad, Arnie. Looks like all your effort was in vain. And your pay ain't even enough to get you home. So you decided to go on foot, did you, Arnold? Hey, Arnold, are you okay? Due to all the extra weight, your bones are under enormous stress. We need to calculate your body mass index. At 60 inches and 206 pounds, your BMI is higher than 40, and that's class 3 obesity, buddy. You need some serious help. Here, call this number. My friends are going to take you to a special place. Here, in just a few minutes, all the excess fat is going to be pumped out of you. Yeah. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, no. Meh, the saggy skin will help remind you not to make stupid oh. choices in the future. And as for all your pumped out fat, on the black market, some cosmetics companies are willing to pay up to $15,000 for just 2.2 pounds of the stuff. So, Arnold, go on back home. 
Okay, fine. Now you're gonna have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. Hey, Lunkhead, I hope you're not looking for Mentos. So, according to the terms of the challenge, you're supposed to replace water with cola. And why are you looking so smug? Watch out, Arnie! Incoming! One can of cola contains 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's your total recommended daily allowance all at once. With so much sugar at one time, the body should respond with vomiting. But orthophosphoric acid absorbs most of the taste and everything stays safely inside. Your brain is easy to trick, but it's more difficult to fool your body. The liver, in order to circumvent this atrocity, turns all the sugar into fat. Arnold's lifespan is reduced by two and a half years for every 10 kilograms he's overweight. So at 100 kilos overweight, you'll lose 25 years off your life. On the other hand, after a couple of years of side effects from diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol, you'll have a pretty good chance of dying young and beautiful. Sugar also leaches calcium from bones and teeth, and the effect is enhanced by orthophosphoric acid. Now your bones can be broken from even the slightest impact. The cherry on top will be cancer of the lungs or liver, caused by preservatives that turn ordinary carbonated water into the nectar of the gods, which goes so well with a big juicy burger and fries. And by the way, choose a seat near the toilet. The caffeine in cola has a diuretic effect. Arnie, hurry up! People are waiting! Decided to hang out in the park, did ya? Looks like this burrito was out of your league. Quick, find something to drink. Arnold, wait. God knows what might be in this magic shop. Well, since you successfully solved your Mexican food problem, let's go have some fun. What a huge line. It looks like you'll have to wait for a bit. Or... Arnold, this is not a good thing to do. Looks like this cute little granny needs your help. Arnold, watch out! You know, Arnold, I decided to go to the morgue and say my final goodbyes to you. Oh my god, are you alive? No, you've been resurrected! It seems that the elixir you drank worked. You are now immortal. Congratulations, Arnold. You will now be the longest living organism on Earth. Your body is now regenerating, and the term cellular senescence is now just a joke for you. Well, how are you going to use your immortality? Got it. You'll cross the road on red. Grope random girls. You'll also win the Kenny McCormick Lookalike Contest. That's ridiculous. You have an infinite number of years ahead of you, and you waste them on this? Arnold, you could study everything in the world. Learn any martial art. 
and even go explore and colonize new <laughs> galaxies. Arnold, how about maybe stop wasting your time? Okay, so maybe for 200 years, you're gonna binge watch every single Netflix series. I see you got a little bored. Plus, your house has started to decay and you're still young. One of the disadvantages of immortality is that you have to outlive all your loved ones. In addition, the world around you is changing rapidly, but you will lag behind in progress and you will feel superfluous in society. Everything that was once important to you will gradually disappear. Over time, everything will cease to please and surprise you at all because you've already seen everything. You will become deeply depressed. Sorry, friend, but it's no use. Stop it, Arnold. You know you're immortal. Arnold, let's go watch the show. Arnold. Okay, I'll leave you alone.